Uh, dear all, this is a Sambhad Rasul, Aston Brosum, Department of Science and Humanities. Today we are going to see about Solid Solution Hume Rothery's Rule, which is in material science, especially for mechanical engineering students, Anna University 2017 regulation. Solid Solution what is mean by solid solution? A homogeneous mixture of atom of two or more elements in solid state is called as solid solution. It is a single phase system. Atoms of different elements in it cannot be either mechanically separated or physically distinguished. So, there are two types of solid solution. One is interstitial solid solution and substitutional solid solution. Let us discuss one by one. So, coming to substitutional solid solution, as we told in game or any other, just a substitute for an atom which is said to be substitutional solid solution. That is, if the atom of the solvent or parent metal are replaced in the crystal lattice by atoms of solute metal, then that solid solution is said to be substitutional solid solution. Here, let us consider two types of atom, that is solvent metal atom and solute atom. Here, this green color atoms are solvent atom and blue color are solute atom. Here, in this crystal structure, the solvent material that is the green color atom in first row, second row, third row, fourth row are replaced by the solute atom. And coming to the interstitial solid solution, the solute atom does not replace a solvent atom, but rather it enters one of the holes or interstices between the solvent atom. Here in this diagram, we can clearly note in the crystal structure, the atomic arrangements are very proper. In between the solvent metal atom, some solute elements that is blue color atoms are interstices between this solvent atom. Next, uh, Hume Rothery rules. That is, uh, Hume Rothery suggested a set of rules for the mixture or solid solutions. That is, two elements must be very similar to each other in order to form a solid solution. There is also some conditions in order to mix and form a solution. Let us see the conditions one by one. Number one is crystal structure. The two or more metals should have similar crystal structures such as FCC, BCC, and here the tungsten alloy steels has Fe and W both of BCC structures while the other element has FCC crystal structure. And next atomic size, these atoms of different sizes may not collide with each other. So their size should be within 15% of each other that is plus or minus 15 percent then only the solution solubility will be obtained then the valency of base metal and the alloying elements should be same next coming to the electronegativity the solid solution solution solubility will be limited if the two metals possesses greater electronegativity 
if electronegativity is too high the two metals will form intermediate phases instead of solid solutions thank you thank you anandal